What is up guys, Shinchi42 here, and today we're going to do another troop boost, and it is the Mightiest Governor, and also there is the Mighty Army event, so this is a perfect timing for troop boosting. So if you guys are very excited on this troop boost, we are going to check how much points we're going to obtain by training 20k units. So we're going to start there, and then we'll see if we are going to train more units or not. So... Before you actually use this level 5 reserves, I suggest that you guys grab a rune. So this rune is going to you know, help with the training speed up and you want to reduce as much speed time on that troop training because like when, I, when we use it, you will see how long it's going to take. And another thing that I did is I boosted my VIP to level 10 and I was able to gain 15% training speed. So that's going to maximize my training so it's going to help reduce the time so that's what we need guys reducing the time currently we have 110,000 points so we're going to be seeing what's going to happen once we use that level 5 reserve that we have on the backpack so if you go into your items i have my level 5 reserves i bought this by buying the war machine bundle so you have to spend you know, going up to the $100 value before you can get this level 5 reserve. So I am very excited. Perfect timing for Mightiest Governor Troop Training Event. Aren't you guys excited? And then let me know in the comment section below if you guys are one of those person that purchases this bundle. And how do you like it? So now we're going to go ahead and use this. And I'm, as soon as I click it, I want to let you guys know I'm going to train over the archer ra archery range. And currently we have 1,100 training, right? Right. As you guys can see the capacity, once we use this, it will increase. So there we go, level five reserves. And let's go ahead and uh, as you can see, it's going to take 13 days. Wow, that's a long time. It also costs 26,000 gems, that's a lot. So we need 4 million wood, that's a lot of wood, honestly. But we have some you know, wood here reserved. The reason why we have that is because um, I bought everything in the VIP shop and uh, as you guys can see I rated it so this is something that you guys should definitely do is if you guys are you know spending a little bit of money the VIP shop is your best friend I did also buy all my uh, legendary keys as you guys can see so sorry the golden keys so I'm excited to have some openings soon of uh, golden keys all right so where were we I can go here and you can see it's 21,100 uh, units there, but if I go here, I can also train the same amount because they're the same uh, Same level by now. I believe yep level 18 All right, so we're going to go focused on archer because that's our goal in this new account But also I am going to be working towards uh, cavalry as well All right, so let's go ahead and train and I believe the gem amount decreased from earlier because you have more resources now You don't have to spend gems towards the resources now basically what you're spending is towards the speed up, basically, if you're trying to do an instant um, troop training here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and train. Hopefully, we have all the speed ups that we uh, collected from uh, buying that VIP shop when we raided it. All right, so 13 days, right? There's no help button here. You can't get any help. So any speed ups really is going to, you know, benefit you um, when you are training, you know, your troops. So we'll go ahead and speed this thing up. So first thing that I really want to use is my training speed up. So I don't really have much because I've used them in the prior um, event. All right. So we still got 13 days. That's a lot. Now, another thing that helps was if you go to the holy site, and we believe we captured this storm altar, which is training speed up by 5%, right? And then there is no troop speed up. So the next one will be in the shrine area. Oops. All right, now we're going to go ahead and use more speed ups. Uh, so this is the generic speed ups, right? You can use them and you can also purchase via gems, but I don't really recommend uh, purchasing here. Uh, what, I, what I would recommend is purchase through the courier station. So, um, okay, so what would I use first? So it's 13 days. This is take a, gonna take a while. I would definitely try to use the higher amount first. Because if it was a lower amount, I could use the lower amounts on like lower increments of time. So definitely gonna use some uh, eight hour speed ups. Now, here's the thing guys. 
this is going to hurt, you know, um, it depends on your priority priority right now. My priority right now is to gain more troops because my troops right now is about only, you know, 135k troops, but my T4 units aren't that much. And the problem is that, you know, I, I want if I go to battle for there's a war, I can't do much, even though my power is like at 4 million. Uh, I really focused already on my city halls level 21. And of course, because I have T4 and I'm also working towards my research, right? But I think I'm going to slow down a little bit and build some troops. And so I'm going to focus my universal speed ups into uh, into troops. Now, I don't advise this towards the free to play players. But if you're moderate, moderately spending and a big spender, you can definitely take this hit. But if you're a free to play player, you kind of want to minimize using the um, universal um, speed ups and kind of use that morally on towards the research and building, you know, building your uh, structures. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the eight hour speed ups. I think, yeah, we're going to be using all of it. So that's going to be unfortunate, but it's fine. We can always catch up by either spending or, you know, raiding that VIP shop. Well, technically, I'm still going to spend because I'm going to get some gems. But here we go, guys. It's still six days. Wow, that is massive. I don't know if uh, it's. Oh, so, okay, so 10 days. I didn't really calculate all this before um, getting into this. So we've got about 10 hours. I think the 15 minutes that speed up could uh, accommodate from that. So now we only have five minutes. And then we'll just wait for like the next, you know, 20 seconds here, guys. So um, as you guys can see, we used a lot of, uh, you know, really a lot of speed ups there. But it's going to be worth it, right? Because having a lot of troops is what defines your game. And it's also going to increase my power. Now, once I collect that, I'm ranked 42 and 110 points we'll see if we're going to get anywhere close to rank 10 so let's collect that we were ranked 42 oh we are actually spot on rank rank 10 my goodness that's awesome so we can also collect some of the units here train awesome so we also gained some speed ups here but these are research speed ups um, we've gained some boost we gained some um books All right guys so 900 Wow, that's a lot. It's almost like 800k power increase, right? And I didn't pay attention on how much increase in here. So you guys could take a look on the previous timeline. Uh, so it activated the courier shop as well. So it's time to also raid the uh, the mysterious merchant boutique. So I'm gonna buy these guys. 90% sale, 80% sale, and uh, definitely going to buy this. 70% uh, sale, and 70%, and then. All right, there's really nothing good here. Um, this is a pretty good deal, but I have some teleports already. Let's reset that by 80%, 90%. And uh, I don't know. I think that's pretty much it for now. So now I have about total of uh, 156k units. Um, so my archers are now 78k. And building really towards that is my goal. And um, I have Yi Songye and Mehmed for now as my partner. I also have um, Kosunoki, you know, if I want to do the full archer, definitely. But I think with Yi Songye, this buff alone is something really huge already. If it, so I could just like really pair him up with Mehmed to maximize into the skills damaging. Another uh, really good option is Herman. I don't know if you guys have paid attention with Herman, but he's got this moving speed for the archer. So if you have all archer units, using Herman would increase that speed, you know, that moving around to the field. And um, there are some, you know, if you have the primary commander as Archer, you also have some moving speed as well here. Increased march speed of Archer units by 3%. And also here, so 3% would be at level one. So once you level that up, it would increase. Well, not for that one, but for, for this one, for the uh, march speed here. So there is two uh, talent points that you can consume here. I assume 6% would be the max level. But that's very crucial, right? That moving speed is really um, crucial in this game because you want to be able to move around the kingdom or the, the map. Uh, another thing that I'm going to be trying to focus, maybe some point, you know, I would really want to work with El Cid as well to maximize with that archer talent um, or archer skill set here. Um, where is that? Right here. The Guardians of Valencia. All right, guys. So those are the same things that I just did today. And uh, it's morally just uh, upgrading my... Uh, sorry, I'm training my troops and increasing the power and also increasing 
uh, my points here in the my ideas governor now if you guys like content like this do subscribe to this channel and turn the notification on and don't forget guys to give this video a thumbs up if you guys find this very helpful any guides that i do and uh, any just walk through play through you know something that something like this let me know in the comment section below if this was a good content or what if even if it's not let me know but i know i'm here to strive and uh to improve so honest opinions are always welcome but again guys i'll see you on the next video and don't forget guys to share this video to your friends family members and even to your enemies